Hey guys, it's Chris with Nichols Retirement Empire. And I'm here in the Collard Valley Cook's kitchen, my wife's kitchen, for her channel. She, let, she lets me come into her kitchen. I don't, I don't know how things work with you and your wife, but she'll actually let me come into here, okay? And I'm gonna make something today. I'm gonna make some chili, and I'm gonna tell you why. It's college game day, okay? It's a Saturday, it's a weekend, it's the fall. Those are all good reasons to make chili. Um, you know, it's a, it's a superfood. It's a brain food. It uh, helps you think better, uh, keeps you from getting cancer. It's uh, full of antioxidants, fruits, vegetables. Um, chili, um, it's one of the best things you can eat. Very healthy. Very, um, I don't know, I, I just can't say enough about chili. And uh, some of the things that I say may not even be true about chili, but you need chili and you need chili now. So I'm going to make some. Uh, I think this is her first cookbook. It's in her first cookbook. So um, let's do it, man. Let's make some chili. Is that okay? Can we do that? We got to eat. You'll die. That's another good reason to make chili. If you don't eat, you're going to die, period. You, you can argue. The other things I said, you could argue with, but you can't argue with that. So let's make some chili, guys. I'm excited. There's the recipe. That's few people that ask me to type out a recipe. And I'm going to tell you something right now. I'm not like my wife. She types all that stuff out, has a, has a, has a, network of recipes that you can print out on her on collarvalleycooks.com. I'm not typing. I can barely type out the description of my video and the title. So I, I still do the two finger thing. Let's make some chili. Shit, Chris, shut up. Just shut up, man. Now the good thing about this is you only have to mess up two dishes, two pans. Uh, we have some, this takes a pound of ground, of brown ground beef. Um, so what I have is a half pound of ground beef and I have a half a pound of Italian sausage. Now, I know that Italian sausage is probably not what they use in chili, but I've got it. It's not going to alter the taste of it any. Uh, it'll be fine. So I'm going to put it in here as well. And I'm going to brown this. We've got a new stove. And Tammy has really been, I'm, I'm going to tell you now, she has really been hogging this stove. I mean, she's so excited because we got this new stove. She won't even let me. I mean, I can't even make a grilled cheese without her wanting to get involved. So, but today she's upstairs working. She probably don't even know I'm doing this. Actually, she does know I'm doing this because she told me to. <laughs> All right, so let's let that start browning up. Now. I also need to uh, I need to saute some onions and some peppers. So now one of the things that we do whenever we buy bulk onions and peppers is we'll take them and we'll cut them up, dice them up, stuff like that, and we'll put them in the freezer. Now. This calls for a, a medium onion. So this bag has more than a medium onion in it. So I'm just gonna dump some out. Can't have too much onion. Then I'm gonna reseal that, put it back in the freezer. And we also freeze bell peppers. And like I said, we'll have some diced, we'll have some uh, just cut up in bigger chunks. So I'm gonna saute all of that. 
<laughs> Looks like we got some seeds in there. I must have did this bag. Because she wouldn't have made that mistake, I can promise you. That's got seeds. I'll throw that part away. A little olive oil in there. Probably need a little more than that. And I could have put, I could have just saved it and put it all in one, um, one pan, but I'm not really sure if this is going to have any grease in it that I need to pour off. I don't think it will. It's pretty lean. But just to be safe, I'll tell you one thing I need to do. I need to get our meat separator because you don't want it, uh, and, and sausage, because you don't want it in chunks. You want it nice and separated. Yeah, that's looking pretty lean. I bet I don't have to grain that at all. Now, believe it or not, there are people, and some of them watch my wife's channel, that when I take this that I'm browning this beef with, and sausage with, and I take it, and I put it in here, they get all excited, and they go, You're, that's cross-contamination. Well, let me explain something, just for people that don't know. Cross-contamination means that I can contaminate something by taking this and putting it in that. Now, what cancels all that out is you're cooking it. Okay, this is gonna be fully cooked, and once it is fully cooked, it is safe, okay? This is gonna be sauteed and fully cooked, and not only is it gonna be fully cooked, it's gonna be fully cooked in there with this. So there is no cross-contamination. It's gonna be okay, because I'm cooking both of these, so some people get a little confused because, you know, they watch the cooking at work or something, and they get, you know, in their head what they think cross-contamination is, and that's, this would not be cross-contamination because cooking is what makes everything safe, okay? Now, if it's not cooked and it's raw, yeah, you got an issue. That's that's dangerous. You got to get stuff cooked. Okay, let's uh, work on this a little more. Yeah, there's not any grease in here at all, guys. I'm impressed. I'm impressed with how lean that sausage is. That Swaggerty's Italian sausage. And this recipe actually calls for a little basil. Uh, and I'm probably not gonna put, I'll put some basil in there, but not much, because that Italian sausage will have basil in it as one of the flavors, so. Let's turn this up. I must cook that water off of it. Okay, you can see that water cooked off pretty quick from the ice. So it won't take but a couple of minutes and I'll have these sauteed the way I want. Here we go. We take all of this stuff and we're gonna put all of it together. Okay. Kind of go through what we're going to put in here. Uh, we're going to put in a can of black beans, okay? Black kidney beans, not black beans. Excuse me. Juice and all. 
two cans of red kidney beans. Pretty. Red and black. That's the University of Georgia right there. Kidney beans. Another can of reds. Now you could put a different color in there if you want, make it pretty. All right, one can. These are like 16 ounce, all, all of these are in the neighborhood. Of tomato sauce. And all of these, you know, different companies make different size cans, but I mean, it's not, you know, you're not building a rocket, you're just making chili, so just a can is fine. Diced tomatoes. I'm gonna put in two cans of diced tomatoes. Did I turn that off? Let's turn it back on. We'll put this on simmer for a good while. Another can of diced tomatoes. Ooh, I'm living dangerously, ain't I? Toward the top right here. Now, it does call for like a teaspoon of basil or basil. Yeah, as Chef Gordon Ramsay would say. I like to think of myself as... Anyway, teaspoon. <laughs> Wait a minute, let me make sure. Yeah, it says a teaspoon. I'm going to put in about a half a teaspoon because, like I said, I got that Italian sausage in there. Okay, three tablespoons of chili powder. One, two, three. Okay, follow directions, Chris. I'm pretty good at following directions. For a man, I'm in the 90th percentile. As a person in general, you know, I'm probably in the lower 15, 20%. But as a man, I'm, I'm, way, I'm way up there. Now, I'm also supposed to put some salt and pepper. A teaspoon of salt. Okay. And a half a teaspoon of black pepper. All right, so let's eyeball that. I like black pepper. Okay, so let's check the recipe and make sure we got everything. Three tablespoons of olive oil, medium onion, bell pepper, check. Pound of ground chuck, brown and drain. Ooh, boys and girls, we almost missed something super. This one you go back and check. Attention to detail, guys. Come on. All right. It calls for two cloves of pressed garlic. Pressing garlic, guys, just like that. We're pressing garlic. Man, I'm glad I didn't forget that part. I like me some garlic. All right, garlic. Two diced tomatoes, we got that. 16 ounce black beans, got it. 16 ounce kidney, got it. Tomato sauce, got it. Basil, got it. Black pepper, salt, chili powder, got it all. All right, guys, now we're gonna let it um, basically cook. I'm, I'm gonna put it a little higher than simmer, and you know, you really can't cook it too long. <laughs> it's cool. You know, but you don't want to cook it where it's so hot it's going to stick to the bottom and all that kind of stuff. So I'm going to put it on the low temp. And I'm going to let this dude cook for a while. And when we eat it, look how pretty that is, guys. That's a beautiful. That's a beautiful color, man. That's a beautiful. The chili's a beautiful. I told y'all when I started making this video, chili is... Uh, you know, if there's a food pyramid, chili would be in it somewhere. Okay, now like any man, I'm feeling pretty good about myself right now. Um, I got this all cleaned up. Okay, I got this on the towel. I um, 
cleaned out the cans. I took them, put them in the recycle. I'm saving the planet. Uh, you know, uh, anytime a man does anything, he uh, he really feels like he's done a lot. <laughs> it's very, like, you know, a woman just moves on to the next thing. Uh, but, you know, men like to revel in their accomplishments. Um, so right now, I'm going to sit back and just think how awesome it is that we're going to have lunch here in a little while. Um, like I said, I've cleaned up. And if my wife brags on me at all, I'll probably do this again. Because that's also the way men operate. If you brag on them, um, they like any kind of praise, any kind of little trophy, pat on the back, at a boy, that kind of stuff. So if she does any of that at all, man, I'll probably cook something else. There it is. Nice and hot. Now, I did put a little cumin in it. I didn't show you guys, maybe a quarter teaspoon. I added that later. That's not in Tammy's recipe, but I added it. And so there's a nice spoon. It's got a little zip to it now, a little bit. Mm. That's good, and I'm hungry. So thanks for watching Nichols Retirement Empire. Let's watch some ball games and eat some brain food. See you later.